In this video, we're going to factor a trinomial. And the first thing you want to do is look to see if you have a leading coefficient. If you have a leading coefficient, you're probably going to use factor by grouping. If you do not have a leading coefficient, your leading coefficient is 1, then you can just kind of factor this um, uh, the easy route. So what we do is we write out the ending term when we factor this. We'll write out 5. And then we want to write out all the factors of 5. So 1 times 5 is the only factors of 5. And we're trying to, um, basically, I'll write this out. We're um, finding the factors of the end term, which add to the factor, or to uh, equal, which add to equal the middle term. So as you can see here, the factors 1 and 5, okay, when you add those together, they would equal 6, right? So it's 1 times 5 gives you 5, but 1 plus 5 gives you 6. So that was our goal, is to find the factors that would add to the middle term. So once we do that, then we can actually split this y squared term and say that we have two binomials with y starting each binomial, and each number that goes in here will be a positive 1 and a positive 5 because it has to add to 6. And this is the factored form for this expression, y squared plus 6y plus 5. They're equal to each other. Now, you can actually test this. So we're going to just say the test. Okay, to test this out, we're going to multiply these back and see if we end with the same spot. So y plus 1, y plus 5. We multiply y times y, we get y squared. y times 5, we get 5y. 1 times y is 1y, and then 1 times 5 is 5. So you'll see we end up with y squared plus 6y plus 5. So this is the factored form for our original trinomial. Let's try another one. Let's write the factors of 9 out. So we write 9. The factors of 9 are 1 and 9 and 3 and 3. And because this is negative in the middle, and this is positive on the end, uh, the only way to get a positive 9 here is to m either multiply by two positive numbers or multiply by two negative numbers. So I'm going to write out the negative factors as well for 9. And then we're going to add those up. So 1 plus 9 is 10. 3 uh, plus 3 is 6. We're looking for negative 10, remember? Negative 1 and negative 9, that's negative 10. So then we can go through and we can say x squared minus 10x plus 9 is equal to, in factored form, x, x, we split the x squared term, and then our two factors would be minus 1 and minus 9. And then I can test it again to double check. x minus 1 x minus 9, distribute x squared minus 9x minus 1x plus 9. That gives you x squared minus 10x plus 9. And that tells you that this was the factored form for that trinomial. 